Hey guys, and welcome to another Game Explained Game & Watch. Ash here, and today we're taking a look at Ultra Street Fighter 2's online mode. Uh, now, those of you who have watched my review will know that um, the online was actually locked during the review period. I got my review copy about two weeks ago, uh, and the online mode has been grayed out until today. Uh, basically, uh, Capcom locked the online for the review period and is only enabling it with a day one patch. And that day is today. The patch went live almost an hour ago, so I'm going to take the online and kind of show it off for you here and put it through its paces and hopefully this will give you some kind of idea how the online works in Ultra Street Fighter 2. So let's just get right into it. Uh, I'm going to select online here. So I can choose ranked match, casual match, and rankings. Um, Wow, oh, okay, so you can actually even sh uh, show your way of the auto ranking. Okay, so anyway, uh, I'm not going to have a ranking yet, so we can do a ranked match and a casual match. Um, obviously, the, the difference between those is pretty obvious. Um, let's just jump right into ranked. You know, I'm not that great at Street Fighter. Let's do a quick search. Uh, so a, f a few people on Twitter have been like, I want to see... All right, I'm going to fight Joe. Okay, Joe, let's, uh, let's do it. You're, you're my first ever opponent in Ultra Street Fighter 2 Online. Let's do it. Um, okay, I'm player two. Uh, let's just jump right in with, uh, let's see. Let's jump right in with uh, Fei Long. All right, do purple purple pants Fei Long. I'll just do, uh, oh, we're doing random stage, okay. All right, let's see how I do here. Hopefully I don't get a super pro in my first, uh, my first match here. Uh, oh, that's not good. Okay, let's see. Alright. Well, so far, uh, the online really seems to be working pretty well, I gotta say. Okay, unfortunately I got someone who seems to be quite a bit better than me <laughs> in my first match, but honestly, that's gonna be most people, because I, I suck at Street Fighter, you guys. Like, oh no, don't, okay, he, at least he didn't perfect me. Yeah, I am so bad at this, you guys. Woo! All right, well, there's my first loss. Big surprise. But uh, the point of this video is not to show off my awesome Street Fighter skills, because they don't exist. Uh, it is to show off the online. So you guys are probably going to see me lose quite a bit. Okay, well, that was quick, though. All right. Um, all right, well, obviously, this guy's way better than I am. So let's try someone else. That was quick, though. Like, I connected to somebody fast. Um, the match was lag-free, no stuttering, and I left the match fast, so I do like that. All right, I'm going to play Neverman now, who seems to not have great Wi-Fi, so let's try that. Although, I don't, maybe that's not... I don't know if that's what that means, because then by that metric, my Wi-Fi is terrible, and I don't think it is, so I don't know. Let's try Honda. Let's do green Honda. Two Kens. Okay, so I've already fought two Kens. I feel like this is going to become a pattern here. Alright, there we go. Nice. Got a little quiet there because i got to focus here. Ah. Ah, oh, I missed my super combo. Oh, barely got him. Okay, cool. All right. Nice. Okay, got him with the sumo headbutt. That hundred hand slap in as he lands. Oh, I missed. Why did I miss? Oh, got him with the uh, midair light punch. Okay, cool. Hey, I have. I didn't lose all my matches in this game and watch. I'm very happy. All right, got Neverman. So right now, of course, I am. Uh, let's see, is he gonna want to play again? Okay. Um, no, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna keep playing him just because I won. I want to keep playing different people. Um, that wouldn't be a good look, would it? 
<laughs> just gonna keep playing you because I can beat you. All right, Deven Z. Here we go. Um, I'll record the replay this time, just so I can show you guys how that works. Uh, what? What's this? Oh, I see. Okay. Let's see. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say. Uh... <laughs> Still a beginner. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's go. Let's go, Deven Z. Uh, so as I was saying, I'm, I'm obviously playing with the classic graphics and the classic sound right now. Uh, but I'm going to switch, like, around... Uh, let's try Guile, why not? Um, I'm going to switch... Oh, you know what? I use... <laughs> There's a custom color Guile. Let's use my... my. Oh, wow! Okay, I'm playing another custom color Guile. What are the odds? How funny. Okay, so yeah, I'm showing off one of the disgustingly ugly custom colors I made for Guile. I wanted to see just how crazy you could get with this. And I'll even show you when I switch to the new graphics a little later on. I'll show you guys. Um, oh, there's some lag. Okay, a little bit. Alright, so not perfect. Got a little lag here, but that's obviously the nature of online. Ah. Yeah, this isn't going too well. No, don't hit me. Ugh. So one thing you'll notice when you're playing this game, even with the Pro Controller, and I am using the Pro Controller, by, by the way, um, you'll notice that you're not going to get the precise controls you want even with the Pro Controller. Like, I see, like, right now, I'm jumping around like a maniac. And that's not really the game's fault, as I said in my review. Nice. Um, you know, that's not the game's fault. There just isn't... The Switch doesn't have a control option yet that's perfect for Street Fighter. Obviously, there's not uh, a fight stick for the Switch yet. I believe Hori's making one. But, uh, yeah, there isn't one yet. So, really, unfortunately, there's just not a perfect control option for Street Fighter 2 yet. So, you know, for those of you super serious players out there, you're you're just going to find that even with a pro controller, you're going to be disappointed, I think, with the, you know, the precision you're getting. Ah... Okay, this guy's killing me. Okay, well, that's fair. Did I actually record that? I feel like I forgot. I also didn't see my on-screen comment happen, so I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, record, replay, comment settings, still a beginner. All right. Uh, let's see. Bring it on. Now let's say no holds barred. Okay. Anyway, so let's leave Deven... Let's find somebody new here. So I did record a replay. Uh, I'll show that off in a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's try a custom search. What happens when I do a custom search here? Same region. Okay, so I can do just like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe then, or Mario Kart 8. Uh, you can either fight people from your same region, as in your same country, or any region. Uh, control type, same settings. This is a nice option. I do like this. So, as I mentioned in my review, there are easier control settings, like you can map special moves and super combos to single buttons, or when you're playing on handheld mode, you can actually um, set them to little touch panels, uh, like little touchscreen panels, like you could on uh, Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition. Uh, then opponent skill, same skill, or more skilled, or any. Okay, so we don't. Re it's kind of hard to say just how well these matchmaking options work yet, at least in terms of the skill part. I'm sure these work fine. Uh, let's try any, why not? Um, same settings, yeah, I don't really want to be fighting people who are using the easy control option, because I'm not. Uh, and then here, I can create a lobby. I'll do that really quick. Uh, any, okay, this is fine. Let's just, I'm just showing this to you guys, just so you can see how it works. Okay, so the lobby doesn't even, this literally is, I guess, all you, okay. Oh, okay, I just got JC Gamer. Okay, cool, let's try that. Um, ready. All right, I've been trying to, like, resist just, like, using the Shotos because <laughs> no one likes the Shotos. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try Chun-Li first. <laughs> no one likes the, the Shotos, obviously. Well, not no one. They're obviously, you know, people love them. They're popular. But I feel like people get tired of playing against Shotos, so I've been really trying to, like, wait until I just devolve into using Ken over and over. But, yeah. All right, all right. This is good. Going well. Nice. Let's finish her off with a throw here. All right, cool. Oh, I should probably turn off recording. Uh, shouldn't I? Watch out. 
JC Gamer, man, you gotta block. You gotta block. You're doing so much damage. Alright, good game, JC Gamer. Alright, this just brings my total win-loss count on this Game & Watch, I think, to two and two each, so not bad. Uh, alright. Cool. Oh, did I... Oh, okay, never mind. Alright, so I'm gonna leave JC Gamer. I'm gonna turn my, rec uh, my replays off. Uh, okay, so... I created a lobby, somebody found me, um, and you could, this is basically the settings you can choose when you're creating your own lobby. Uh, it is, like I wanted to say, it is important to note that you do not have to play with people who are using the light control scheme, which is a big deal. I don't think that was possible in Street Fighter 4 3D. I, I feel like... Alright, I'm gonna try a casual match, just to show you guys, so... Uh, quick search, custom search, same, uh, same settings, except for the rounds. Here we go. Yeah, rounds and time limit, that's new. It's standardized on ranked mode, but on casual mode, you can set your number of rounds and your time. Uh, friend match, let's see, no opponents found. Okay, so obviously that's clear how that works. You have to have a friend waiting uh, or plan it out in, beforehand. So, okay, uh, let's try a casual match. So yeah, I, uh, as I was saying, when you were playing uh, Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition online, I think you got, like, I don't think there was a setting to filter out people who are using the easier controls, so, uh, there we go. All right, I'm gonna play against Cardo. All right, now let's turn the replays off, because I don't want to chew up all my space. Uh, assuming that's, taste, assuming it's not like Smash, where it's literally a script, I don't know. Uh, all right, you know, let's show off, well, I feel bad using Violent Ken and Evil Ryu, because they're, they're kind of good. Uh, I'm gonna use regular Ken first. Uh, all right. Let's see. Do I have a custom color for Ken? No. Okay. Let's go with, uh... Let's go with Aqua Blue Ken. Ooh, Dalsing. Don't feel like you see Dalsing played very often. So I think maybe after one or two more matches, I'm going to back out. I'm going to show you guys the replay. Uh, or one of the replays. At least see how that works. Ooh, got him. Nice. Ooh. I meant to do a hurricane kick. All right, air throw, nice. Um, I'm sure some of these people I'm playing are like, how does he have the title Flaming Dragon already? Um, I think I got that. I don't remember. I think I got that from beating the game as Violent Ken, beating arcade mode. I don't remember. But it's like the coolest sounding title I have, and it's like a special color. All the other color or titles I have are like red and blue, and this one's like shiny orange. So I feel like it's more, I don't know, prestigious. I don't know if it actually is or not. All right, cool. Uh, I got a little time. Let's just, uh, I'll do another one. Um, Cardo's wants to play again. Um, all right, so interesting that it found me, or it took me a little more time to find a casual match. I think probably because more people are playing, playing ranked, which makes sense, but just thought that was interesting. Uh, so I'll go back to ranked and um, let's try, let's try Violent Kin. I just played Ken. Let's get a little violent here. All right. We're gonna do vaguely light purple violent Ken. Yeah, okay, so after this match, um, I'm going to uh, back out and show you guys a replay just to see how that works. And then uh, I'll switch to the new graphics for a bit. So you can, and, and the new music, so you can kind of. So violent Ken. His movement speed is faster. Uh, he just he just moves around faster. Oh, watch out! Ah, see, I jumped there and I didn't mean to. Oh, got him! Oh, wow! I came back. Okay, I don't feel like that was strictly because of me, <laughs> like or uh, because of Violent Ken. I feel like that was a bit me. Like I, I think I earned that comeback. But yeah, like I said in my review, Evil Ryu and Violent Ken, they feel a little too strong. Uh, I mean, they don't wreck the balance or anything, but you'll notice that like they feel like they're maybe a little better than they should be. I don't know. I'm not a yeah, I'm not a, an expert on Street Fighter balance, but I don't know. They feel a little too good in some. Ah, damn it. Ah, watch out. Got him! Oh, I didn't get him. Is it a double KO? Oh no, I was using a light attack. Ah, I used a light air. 
uh, kick. Or I should say light and midair kick. Midair light kick? I think that's the, the, the appropriate terminology. So, uh, Ken has this... Oh, nice. Ah, should've known he's gonna do that. Oh, got him, cool. I was gonna show you Ken's little teleport move, but I just didn't, didn't have a chance to actually do it. Uh, okay, so I, I won, cool. Yeah, so Violent Ken, Evil Ryu, I don't feel like they add very much to the game. Maybe they're a little too good, I don't know, but I don't think they add much. I wouldn't miss them if they weren't here, but whatever. Uh, they're obviously just, you know, palette swaps of Ryu and Ken with... Oh, I got a new title, Starry-Eyed Fighter. Okay, cool. I'll show you guys the titles, too. This is something I, I forgot to uh, mention in my review. Uh, you can unlock titles, just like in Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 5. Uh, here's a, a little preview of what, I, what I've unlocked. So, there we go. Um, those, most of those red and blue ones I got for beating the game with certain characters in arcade mode. On easy, mind you. And I got two, two titles per character, even beating it on easy. So that's nice. Uh, I'm going to keep Flaming Dragon uh, for now. And let's see. So where are the... Let's see. Where are the replays? Oh, replays. Here we go. Uh, battle log. So you can uh, save certain ones as favorites. All right. Let's see. JC Gamer here. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of. I haven't even. Se I haven't seen a replay either because I have not been able to play online until now, basically. So this seems to be working fine. Yeah. Okay. So you can save your favorite replays. I like that. Um, I think the game does specify that replays of longer matches may not be fully saved. So I don't know if that's the game just trying to, uh, you know, make up or or at least. Oh, oops! Didn't do that. Okay, cool. My bad. So I don't know if that if that's the game trying to, you know, warn people about the Switch's limited built-in storage space. I don't know if that's a, a failing of the game. I don't know why it can't necessarily record longer replays perfectly, but uh, I don't know. But it might be fine. It might just have to do with, uh, you know, how much internal storage space you have on your Switch. So, uh, yeah, okay, so replays work great. I'm going to switch to the new graphical, new graphics, new music, so you guys can get a bit of that. Um, actually, I want to see something. So what happens if you change the graphical style? Oh, no favorites log. Uh, what happens if you choose the graphical style and play a replay? So obviously I played this match in the classical style. Is it gonna, okay. So it, it, it must be a script then. It can't just, there, it's not obviously recording videos. It's gotta be your script because the replays change according to your currently chosen graphical style. So obviously I originally played this match in classic style, but now it's showing up in new styles. So that's cool. Okay, interesting. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, you can, you can move right on to the next round. That's pretty cool. All right, so uh, one other thing I did wanna show you guys just as a quick aside. I didn't mention this in my review, it's not a big deal at all, but there are six different themes that you can use for your menu. Uh, they're not really all that interesting or inspiring, really. I'm just using this one because I find it to be the most interesting. But yeah, anyway, that's just wanted to show you guys that. All right, let's go back to online, uh, ranked, uh, quick. And we're gonna show off the new graphics and new sound for a little bit here. All right, Jake kicks, kicks with a Z, 27. Okay, so one thing I wanted to show you guys uh, is I'm gonna go back to Guile and go back to my custom Guile, uh, my ugly, ugly one. I wanted to show you that um, your color editor edits carry forward across both styles, just like the replays, actually. So I'm about to fight my first Violent Ken. We'll see how this goes for me. Yeah, so um, you don't have to create separate colors for new and graphical styles, which I thought was nice. Oh, jeez, this guy. Okay, all right, calm down. Calm down. Get out of my face, please. All right, all right. Oh, okay, you don't have to. Oh, I missed! Oh, okay, good. I got him. I was like, you don't have to block those sonic booms. That's fine. <laughs> this is the ugliest guile. He's like Blanca guile. <laughs> I feel like they're gonna be, I, well, I don't know. I did mention in my uh, 
my review that the color editor is unfortunately kind of a pain to use. So I don't know how many custom colors we'll actually see online, but I can see some pretty crazy ones uh, working out. I got a perfect. I got a perfect. It's crazy. I don't know if I've ever gotten a perfect on Street Fighter 2 online. Any version of Street Fighter 2. Nice. No, I'm sure I have, but it's been like, what, 10 years since uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix came out. I didn't really play it that much online. I don't know, I just kind of lost interest. I feel like this is more easily, you know, immediately playable. Like, you can pick up and play. I do like having this game on the Switch. As I said in my review, I do think Street Fighter 2 is a really great fit for the Switch. And this is a very good version of it. Okay, there's my first error message. Uh, the other console is not responding, so... But that's the first error message I've gotten in this you know, this whole session. And I feel like by now in... Okay, Nalib. Cool. I feel like by now, if I was playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I would have gotten, like, five communication errors by now. I get those all the time in that game, so... This is <laughs> a lot better by comparison. Uh, Alright, let's try... Let's do Sagat. Let's do... Light green pants Sagat. We got a custom Ryu. Alright. Gonna fight in Thailand. So, um, thoughts on online, because we're, you know, getting to the 20 minute mark here, so, um, I'm happy with it, honestly. It's smooth. I mean, yeah, okay, there's a minor hiccup right there. You know, of course, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna have varying degrees of success based on the quality of your own internet connection, like any online mode, but my, uh, my own internet's pretty decent. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. Come on. All right, let's, let's tiger. Let's tiger it up. Come on. Wanna, let's get into a fireball fight. Let's do it. Oh, no. He, he Shinku Hadouken me. What a jerk. Oh, nice. Wow, I did not think I was going to pull off that super combo, especially from the two-player side. I've always been notoriously bad at pulling off inputs from the two-player side. I always prefer being the, the player one. All right, tiger to the face. Oh, no. Okay, he's got me here. Ah, he got me. Okay. All right, I gotta try to stay out of the corner. So, um, I, I did make a slight mistake in my review, uh, I should mention. Ugh, he just gets right in my face, doesn't he? Nice, got him. I don't know, I, I very rarely get combos above two. <laughs> All right, trying to trying to stay away or out of his grill because when he gets in my face and traps me in the corner, that's when I'm in trouble. Got him! Oh, he blocked high. I did a low tiger. Sagat's so annoying. Sagat is such an incredible zoner in this game, and it's just obnoxious to play against him. Uh, so what I was saying was uh, earlier was that I was uh, I made a slight mistake in my review. The new graphical style isn't quite widescreen. If you'll notice, there are slight black bars on this on the sides there. Uh, so it's mostly widescreen, but it's not full widescreen. Oh, I just uh, fought Nayla. Let's uh, get out of here. So I just wanted to mention that it is mostly like it fills just about all of my TV, but not quite. So to get back to what I was saying before, uh, thoughts on the online. I'm happy with it so far. Um, I don't really have anything to complain about. It's fast. I mean, obviously, it's searching for an opponent right now, but it looks like I can easily cancel out of that. Um, whereas in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I feel like it would just... I would be, like, stuck until the game let me. There we go. Okay, so even when the game, you know, can't find an opponent, you can just back out and search again. Um, now, of course, let's keep in mind, just for the sake of fairness, uh, the game did just launch. The servers are likely not to be all that overloaded. People are at school, people are at work. For me, it's 10, 15 in the morning. So, you know, this isn't probably a perfect stress test or even an ideal stress test. Um, so, you know, let's keep that in mind. This is right after the game launched. But, hey, I'm not having any complaints about the online so far, so... Got him. Oh, okay. So this is worth mentioning. This is my first match with, like, really noticeable input lag. Uh, which is... I feel like it's a good thing that I haven't even thought to talk about that until now. Because... Got him. Ah! Jump in. Come on, jump in. Nice! Got him. Um... 
Yeah, so I feel like it's a good thing that I haven't had to think about input delay until now, but this is the first match I've played during this game and watch um, that has given me like some significant input lag. This this kind of feels like playing Smash Online. Okay, so there we go. I'm glad I got this. This is what a laggy match in Ultra Street Fighter 2 looks like. Ah, I didn't get him. Don't yeah, don't do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna electro electrocute you every time you just get in my face like that. That sounds so bad. Electrocute you. Uh okay, he got him. God no, no, no. Come on. Got him. Okay. I should have used a super combo. I do know the motion for Blanca's super combo. So, yeah, that was a match with uh, some significant input delay. Um, you know, a little lag there in the middle of the match. I suspect that's because this guy's connection, Hamadou's connection, isn't as good. Uh, but to be clear, that is the first match I've had with any sort of major input lag. Um, so, yeah. I do wish there was an option to search only for people with your level of internet connection or better. Uh, I believe Street Fighter V lets you do that. I don't want to say for sure, but I believe it does. I think a lot of other fighting games let you do that, honestly. Like Street Fighter V, probably even various versions of Street Fighter IV, uh, you know, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Like, I feel like a lot of them do. Um, let's go... Let's take Akuma out. Let's go with Akuma. Ooh, Akuma and Violent Ken. All right, um, let's do Cami Stage. I like Cami Stage. I like the Northern Lights in the background, or the—I don't know if those are specifically the the Northern Lights, but whatever the Aurora Borealis thing is. Okay, all right. Uh, I did not have a good. <laughs> I didn't know what I wanted to do there. <laughs> I just didn't really have an answer. All right, nice, nice. Got him with the air hadou- I think they're called like go hadoukens or something. No- Oh no, no, no! Got him. That was so close. Just turned into a fireball war. I- I don't- I'm sorry guys, I don't know how to do the motion for the raging demon offhand. I'd have to look it up and even then when I look it up I feel like I never quite know how to do it. Like I said, I'm not... I, you know, I know my basic inputs, I know my, my characters and stuff, my lore, but I'm not, like, a, all that good. Wow. So, one thing you'll notice, I mean, of course you'll notice, you'll know this already if you played any version of Street Fighter 2, but this is obviously a very 90s game, and it's so evident in the fact that the damage output is so high. Like, rounds can end so quickly, especially with characters like Akuma and Zangief. And, like, even Evil Ryu and Violent Ken, like, their damage output's so high. Four or five good hits. Sometimes I feel like even three or four, and the match can be over. This is definitely a high, high damage game. Alright, let's do Evil Ryu. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do Magenta Evil. Oh, we got Evil Ryu versus Good Ryu. Or at least Neutral Ryu. Nah, he's good. Ryu's a good guy. He's boring, but he's a good guy. Oh, no, no. Gotta get out of there. Alright, nice. Got him out of my face. Ah. I, I don't know. You know, I shouldn't have done that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, I didn't want to. Oh, okay. I... I feel like I was trying to do the Shinku Hadouken, and I kept failing, kept teleporting instead. Did not mean to do that. Oops. Alright. Alright. Ah, I feel like this guy's got my number. Robert. Robert! Ah. Yeah, okay. Nice. So, yeah, um, glad I was able to show you guys both graphical styles. Um, yeah, I'm happy with this. So, um, if you were looking for a little, nice little indicator of how the online in Ultra Street Fighter 2 is, at least in the early going, uh, this is it.
All right, Trung, let's go. All right, this is gonna be my last match. I'm, I'm reaching about half an hour, so I think this is a pretty good time to end it. So uh, I'm gonna go with good old Ken for my last one. Uh, let's do, let's do light blue. Oh, perfect, what a nice classic match. Um, we gotta go with, whose stage haven't we seen? Let's go to Jamaica. I've always liked DJ stage. All right, let's go, Trung. So the uh, the new voices for the new sound style, they're taken from Street Fighter 4. It's uh, Street Fighter 4's Japanese voice track, which I thought was kind of cool. That's not something that HD Remix had back in uh, however long ago it was, nine years. Ah, I tried to throw him, but nope. Ah! Damn! Thought I thought I had him. I was gonna try to catch him with a Shoyuken. Didn't quite happen. Well, you know, I'm happy with this. I want I want a nice collection of matches here. I'm just glad I didn't I didn't lose them all. <laughs> Nice, okay. Ah! No! Oh, he came back! Why? Uh, well, that means it's, it's a good time to call it quits for now, so that's okay. Man, I, I was up, up to 400 PP and now I'm down to 376 or whatever, or whatever I just lost. Um, all right. So that's it, guys. Oh, you know what? No, it isn't yet. That isn't it. I want to show off one more thing. <laughs> Bottom Feeder. I feel like that's not a good title to get. I don't know why or how you get that, but... Um, okay, let's switch... Uh, I mean, the classic graphics with the new sound. Just to show you guys you can do that. But the reason I'm not done yet is because you can actually do fight requests. So I can just go ahead and play arcade mode. Uh, I'm going to keep it on easy because I like to run through the game fast to unlock titles. Uh, let's so rank match. Cool. You can sue. Okay, so you can have your set. You can set your settings from within arcade mode. Um, yeah, cool. Cool. So this is like other, you know, home console versions of Street Fighter 2, where um, I'm just gonna be Ken again. Yeah, this is like other, um, you know, console versions of Street Fighter 2, where you can play arcade mode online, basically, and just the game can search for opponents while you're playing arcade mode. Um, you can also do this during training. Um, there it is. That's why I wanted to show that off. Cool, so the game searched for an opponent, opponent as I was playing arcade mode in the background. It found me Muff Butta. <laughs> that name. So, uh, cool. Oh, and I get to change my character. So it doesn't matter if you've already picked, um, you know, a character for arcade mode, you can switch again, which is nice. So let's go with Ken again. See what happens. And this will be my final match. I just wanted to show you that you can, in fact, search for uh, opponents in the background. I also like that the stage isn't just random, that, you know, someone actually chooses. Whereas in Smash, it's so often random, and it's, you know, you're not always given power over which uh, stage you play on. Oh, watch out. All right, some slight, slight stuttering in this match, but no big deal. Oh, watch out. Ooh, got him, got him with the air throw. Or I should say, got her with the air throw. Oh, no. Watch out. Okay, he's gonna jump in against me, yep. I tried to do a Shoryuken and I flubbed the input. I knew he was going to jump in because he just couldn't wait to get out of my face. He just wanted to get that last hit. He was so desperate. And I I was ready for it. I read it. I, I made the hard read and I flubbed the input. How sad. This guy is just like... Ugh. Okay. Got it. Okay, I'm glad I get to to end this on a win. That's good. All right. So there, there you go. That's um, 
online mode as the game searches for an opponent in the background. So I'm going to leave the lobby. So what happens when you do that? So if I leave the lobby, is it going to take me back to... Okay, so it takes me back right to where I left off in arcade mode. I like that. Very cool. Yeah, I can't complain. All right, and just to show you guys, you can also do this from the training menu too. So you can go in, go into the lab, you know, bang out some training and the game just finds opponents for you in the background. So that's how that works. Uh, so final thoughts, I like the online. It works well, obviously not the perfect stress test because the game just came out and people are at work or at school, but so far my impressions are positive. And uh, while I'm not going to officially uh, give a final, you know, like a final updated review score in this video, uh, keep an eye out for another video we're going to produce in which I do. It's kind of like my official part two slash online addendum to my review where I will, you know, give my final review score. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick look at Ultra Street Fighter 2's online functionality and thank you guys for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media. You can find all the links you need in the video description below. Otherwise, keep it on Game Explain for more on Street Fighter, the Nintendo Switch, and all things gaming. Until next time, guys. Bye.